All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SENS, Synsonics Holdings Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome. Welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I just want to quickly announce to everyone that I have a Twitter account. The link is down below in the description. And to stay tuned till the end of this video, because I have a new ticker symbol you definitely want to add to your watch list. It's been pulled down by analysis ratings, and I believe it's going to be a temporary pullback. So stay tuned till the end. We're going to look at the chart. I'm going to talk about support levels to watch closely and so forth and what's expected moving forward for that company. So stay tuned for that. So here we are with SENS stock and it's been pulling upwards. I've seen in the comments that Vanguard continues to load up on this and we're definitely seeing how institutional investors and even individual investors are holding this up. We want to remember where it came from way down here in the 40 cent range. It had nice consolidation for some time. And since the middle of January, we've been seeing this run slight pullback. And here we are running again. So really interesting to see. We've already seen new resistance levels being broken through. And the most important one is way up here now at 390. I think that's the most important goal right now for the bulls in the long term for the next coming weeks and days. So let's go ahead and see how this is reacting and where we're sitting right now. What's our new resistance level and what's our new support. So let's go ahead and move this to their new locations and get real zoomed in here so we can land right where it needs to be. So support is pretty close to the 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average is 249. So there's a very small window there between support at 251 and the 50 day moving average. So if support gets broken through, there's way too small of a room there to kind of say, okay, let's see if the bulls reappear. I mean, a lot can happen in two cents, but that's a very close stretch, way too narrow to go ahead and say, let's watch what happens between those two. So if support gets broken through, I'm not saying that it's guaranteed, but it's going to be highly likely that the 50 day moving average gets crossed and will end up somewhere below 249 or real close to it and so forth. So if that happens, the next support level to watch is down here at 225 and you can watch and see if the bulls are trying to reappear within this area or are the bears tearing this one down fairly quickly and cross 225 to newer lows and newer support levels because then that means that the bears have accomplished two things. They broke through the first support in bearish territory and they broke through the 50 day moving average to get into bearish territory and now they're on their way deeper into it to newer lows and new support levels. Now that's very important to keep in mind and pay very very close attention to on how the stock's reacting. And the next point is up here at our resistance, the highest point reached in the day. And that is right here to get it to the T here because it's jumping around. It is 299. I like to round it up when it's that close to the next whole number, which is $3. But to be exact, 299 needs to be broken through by the bulls and turn into a support so they can pull upwards to newer highs and new resistance levels. We really want to see the bulls do this. And I do want to go ahead and confirm one thing that the chart is showing. And it's the fact that this momentum has been going on, right? And for this momentum to continue and the bulls pull away from the 50 day moving average in the upward direction, they're going to have to break through 299, the resistance level, turn it into a support, right? And break away from 299 in the upward direction to hit newer highs and new resistance level so i want to put emphasis on that i want to emphasize that so every investor is aware the bulls have to break through 299 to continue the momentum work their way up to newer highs and not allow the 50-day moving average to catch up to the price and make it by default end up in bearish territory i hope that with these cues you guys are well equipped for tomorrow's trading day as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned till the end because the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys, you won't want to miss. You definitely want to have it on your radar in the upcoming days and probably even weeks because there's a lot of room and potential moving forward with this one. So for everyone that has stayed to this point in the video, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys 
is a ticker symbol that has been pulled back and down since earnings date and also analysis ratings have been reiterated on the downside. So it's being pulled down by analysis ratings and also since the date of earnings, there's been some sell off. Now that could be some profit taking, uncertainty, or that analysis ratings is having some effect on the stock. That is why this is one to definitely have on your radar and keep on your watch list because it's a proven and well-known company and it could be a temporary pullback. This ticker symbol is INTC. Once again, the ticker symbol is INTC and that is Intel Corp. Now, one thing I do want you guys to keep in mind is the fact that it does have room to pull down even more. I'm not saying that this is the bottom, but it's looking like it's holding itself up. So we want to watch this closely. Now, if you're really going to watch this closely moving into the next coming days and weeks, one of the points I will look at is down here at 51, right? From where it currently sits at 55. The next point would be down here at 49. And then I would just look down here at the very bottom since way back here at 45. Now it hit other lows throughout the year, but I will look at it from 45, 49, 51, and then where we're currently at to kind of just dissect this chart as much as possible to have some type of idea of how it's reacting within these levels. But this is definitely one you want to have on your watch list moving forward because this could be a temporary pullback. And even if it goes lower, it's going to be a temporary pullback because if we look at the market cap of this company, it's in the billions, right? And for the price that it is, the average volume is pretty high, you know, and today's volume um, was not too bad either. So, I mean, there's a lot of movement going on here. And when you look at their net profit, I mean, it's pretty reasonable. They're, they're still with room to grow and there's just so much potential. And this is a proven company. Now, it took a big hit back here around August and even here in October, once things started to get a little bit more official that they were no longer having their largest account, which was with Apple, then it brought itself right back up. So I believe this is a temporary pullback and there's two ways to look at it, either an opportunity or an opportunity to stay away. But usually these temporary pullbacks are opportunities. I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell or hold any position on Intel Corp or INTC stock, but I am here to enlighten you guys on stocks that are looking like an opportunity due to temporary setbacks, either profit taking after earnings and uncertainty because of the analysis ratings. This could be the bottom here, but I'm not saying it is. It could actually continue to pull down. And then we have our other points to look at $51, 49 and 45. If it breaks through all of those, but beyond 45, we could see newer lows. But I mean, like I said, that's when you have to reanalyze what's going on. So this is definitely one to keep in mind. And if it consolidates within this area, it could mean that there is no longer a newer low. That was as far as it was going to go. But I said it could mean that. That's why you need to watch this carefully. But at the end of the day, INTC is a well-known company, large market cap. And revenue is coming in every single quarter for this one. I mean, you could just see it. It's been growing every single year. And when you go to quarterly, I mean, it's just phenomenal. They're in the billions of revenue and net income. So very interesting stuff for this to be pulled down like that significantly. And with all the AI and these chip makers and all this opportunity of innovation, INTC is going to get a market share of that regardless so I could see this having way more room in the upward direction, regardless of how low it goes. So something to keep in mind. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.